31st of March involves a flight past over Canberra with uh, some 60 odd aeroplanes conducting the flight past represents the capability of, of current air assets. We have also uh, commemorates the past aircraft of the Royal Australian Air Force. On the uh, formation lead for, from the Hercules contingent, there's four aircraft today. It's a uh, box formation with uh, myself in lead. The actual position you're seeing in the, uh, the photo today is, is slightly further aft. For the air show, that, it doesn't visually appeal to, uh, to ground-based viewers. So we're looking to move the uh, formation position into a more echelon-based position, which is further out. We, we hope to practice a number of uh, various items. First and foremost is, is practicing the formation positions specifically. It's a bit different to what we would normally fly, so we're targeting uh, what we're looking to fly past on the day. We also practice a number of contingencies just in case the weather's poor. Uh, obviously our timeline for Government House is fairly uh, strict and we're looking to practice the timeline delivery so we don't turn up early or late. So I'm from Alice Springs originally. I was about 13, 14. Every year I'd harass the recruiters that would come down from Darwin and said I wanted to be a pilot. My role on the day is that I'm going to be flying uh, on board one of the C-130J aircraft involved in the formation. There's a fair bit of teamwork that goes on with all of us because we have uh, the crew, so the pilots and the loadmasters, and we need to all work together to get the mission complete. So loadmaster looks after the weight and balance of the aircraft. We load uh, the aircraft. Also look after passengers when we're moving from A to B. We can do other roles, airborne operations, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief as well. My role on the day will be um, ensuring that the aircraft is balanced correctly uh, and also when we fly in formation in the four aircraft, I'll be assisting the pilots to make sure that we don't uh, get close to other aircraft. Looking outside the windows, the paratroop doors that we have on the aircraft um, and just maintaining that communication. Whenever you put uh, 60 aeroplanes in the sky, Separating those aeroplanes from each other obviously presents a fairly significant challenge. Uh, if it's a nice, clear day, that challenge is reduced. Yeah, if the weather's bad, uh, you can imagine trying to separate 60 aeroplanes becomes highly complicated. I've been in the Air Force for 22 years now. That's over a fifth of the, the 100 years, and so to be around for the centenary uh, I think is really quite nice um, and to be involved with the celebrations is also a pretty nice way to help celebrate. It's just a great day in the office. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity that, you know, uh, the Australian Air Force has never seen and is unlikely to see for a long time ahead. So it's, it's an opportunity that, you know, I'm very proud to be a part of. Mm -hmm.